Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. I suppose we're going to talk about Disney Star Wars. I guess. Uh, I've lost almost all interest in Disney Star Wars. I was hoping the book of Boba Fett would be good, but I actually tuned out after the first episode because it was boring. Yeah, we haven't watched it since. We probably will. I, I will probably at some point and hopefully yeah. it picks up, but... Eh, so we're going to talk about some of the, uh, the backlash that the audience reviews are not really that good. Mm -hmm. uh, the show is getting roasted by fans, uh, including yours truly for looking like Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. uh, looking like the Power Rangers. Uh, I actually did tweet about that. Some other people did too. But uh, it's pretty obvious when you've got these really colorful uh, you know, motorcycle Vespa things, uh, they're supposed to be speeders, but they don't look like no. like otherworldly speeders. In fact, there was, uh, even before this episode came out, people were coming on the first episode, they had uh, Boston Dynamics dogs, yeah, robot you, dogs. Yeah, you said that as soon as you saw it, you're like, what? I was like, they're just using Boston Dynamics. See, and he knew that because he's been trying to talk me into buying a dog. I remember, and if you saw our other videos, I was afraid it would step on our real dog. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, he zoned in on that right away. There, yeah, I, actually, I, I was pricing them and everything. Uh -huh. Squid King was. He was pricing them. He's like, oh, well, they're only $75,000. <laughs> no. Well, let's just buy two, three. Uh -huh. Why, no, not? why not? Why not? Um, who needs a house? Let's buy Robo Dog. So, we're going to talk about this. It's actually hit Forbes that the audience reviews are not, not good. Book of Boba Fett seems to be a dud. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, some information here that uh, Tamora Morrison, I always screw his name up. Mr. Boba Fett himself and every other clone trooper in Star Wars. Uh, yeah, he thought that uh, Boba Fett should talk less and keep his helmet on yeah. more. He said, yeah, he was talking about, he said that, you know, the character itself, you know, had his helmet all the time and you never knew when he was going to strike because you couldn't see his face and he didn't say much. And it kept him mysterious and, you know, that's what made him popular. And now they're just like, you know... Yeah. Time to speak some more. Yeah, that was that was the biggest problem I had with the first episode is I'm like, this is supposed to be Boba Fett, and uh, he will not shut the hell up. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't shut up. He's always got his but helmet like, off. It's a kinder, nicer Boba Fett all the time, too. And it's like, you know, I guess if you're in the monster's belly, maybe it changed you a bit, but not that fast and that much. The Sarlacc partially digested his testicles. Oh, okay. And that's why he talks so much now and doesn't want to shut up. And he's kind of a pussy. But why are you Boba... saying because he's like a woman now? He talks too much? Boba Fett's kind of a pussy. Yeah. He is kind of a pussy now. We're gonna, okay. We're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to talk about this. I'm going to show you how, what pussies can do here in a little bit. And I'm talking about slapping you for... Oh. <laughs> I better clarify. Okay. <laughs> Because I got, like, I got a little. got eaten off, so now he's he talks too much like a woman, and it's like, wait, what? What happened? Your balls drop off? Well, yes, yes, they did after being slowly digested over how many years? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna talk about the book of Boba Fett, kind of a dud. Before we get into it any further, too late. <laughs> Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, almost 254,000 subs. Yay! Thank you for the support. I'm thinking I should stop talking because it's coming out wrong. We don't um, <laughs> We don't talk about Disney Star Wars as much as we used to because we've kind of checked out from Disney Star Wars. Uh, Book of Boba Fett looked boring. Uh, the trailer looked boring, and the first episode was boring. The most inter entertaining thing I'm I'm looking forward to for the Star Wars universe is the Galactic Star Cruiser because I can't wait to get a look at this shit as it goes down. Yeah, that's my that's the biggest entertainment I have involving Star Wars lately. Yeah, it's interesting. People talk about uh, Boba Fett being boring and light on action, and uh, you know immediately they're like, because people are like, "Hey, the Mandalorian is basically the Boba Fett show we wanted." Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, here's the time, times the Mandalorian had some badass scenes that didn't include shooting people. But it's not about the fact that it doesn't have action all the time. It's just, eh. Lame. Uh, again, coming from Forbes, the book Boba Fett audience reviews are well below every other major Disney Plus show. Oh, now we're going to bring in data. And how dare you bring in facts to a feelings fight? Don't, don't bring facts into a feelings fight. Don't do that. Book Boba Fett is struggling to connect with audiences in the same way that pretty much all of Disney Plus's other major productions have been able to since the streaming service's inception across two seasons of The Mandalorian and five major Marvel shows. The Book of Boba Fett is getting the lowest audience reviews by quite a wide margin as shown on Rotten Tomatoes. 
Well, the book of Boba Fett's 90% critical score is pretty good. That's an average of only uh, six scored yes, reviews total. That was six. There six? Was six. Their critical was six reviews. But everybody was watching this show. Well, when they, when they took a screen capture of this, there were six reviews. I can't tell you how many of the reviews there are now. Um, we're going to go look. Still six. Oh, this is not good. Mm -mm. This is really not good. So I guess if you can't say anything nice. They're just giving it a six. Wow, because usually a Disney Plus show, especially featuring an original trilogy character as popular as Boba Fett, would have like a couple of hundred reviews. Anyway. Well, that's the thing. It was going to be an original trilogy character, and we can't have an original trilogy character be left alone and keep it the way they were so people like him. No, no, no. You have to do everything you can to change that character to to make everybody hate him. Let's try and see, uh, compared to some Netflix shows here. Cowboy Bebop. How many? Did... Oh, you got to go. They don't even tell you how many tell you critic how many. scores. Oh, that's not very good. Okay. So anyway, uh, What If has 95%. Mandalorian Season 1. These are audience scores, remember. Mandalorian Season 1, 92%. Hawkeye, 92%. Loki, 91%. Mandalorian Season 2, 90%. WandaVision, 88 Falcon, the Winter Soldier, which I thought was kind of boring. I didn't like that much. I watched the whole thing. You didn't even watch the whole thing. No. 85%. Book of Boba okay. Fett, uh, 65 63 now. Hmm? That's not it's good. It's going down. People are just bored with it. And then, they're yeah, they're taking it out of Star Wars. And then people are defending it like, well, if it's in it, it's Star Wars now. <laughs> it's like, okay. As you can see, the book of Boba Fett is not just last. It's last by being 20% lower than the former last place, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which was still relatively good at 85%. That's yeah, but I didn't think good. it was that good of a show. No, I thought it was boring. Uh, so what's going on here? Fans have come up with a few different complaints. Uh, Boba Fett seems a lot kinder than many were expecting, and he spared the life of a whole bunch of enemies and would-be assassins in the first few episodes. We've he's a pussy. We've explained what happened there. He's a pussy. I mean, it's possible. It's one or three episodes in. I mean, is it four episodes yet? I don't even know. Um, It might get better, but... Boba Fett has his helmet off and he talks too damn uh -huh. much. Some don't think there's enough action, even in episodes one and three, which featured an awkward street fight scene and an awkward car chase Oh, yeah, that street fight scene was something. Yeah, I didn't understand that. He had a jetpack, right? He had a jetpack. He could have just... There's probably a joke in there involving the people who are making jokes about him getting out of the Sarlacc pit, but I won't make that joke right now. Episode three, there were a lot of complaints about the mod aesthetic of the youth gang, debates about whether or not it felt right on Tatooine, regardless of whether or not George Lucas liked colorful hot That rods. was what they're trying to argue. They did the, oh, they did it as a nod to him because of American Graffiti. Bullshit. But American Graffiti is American Graffiti. It's not Star Wars. You know. Oh, you, hey, look, who's that asshole? I don't know. Damn Disney hater. <laughs> I'm just saying. They they said they're trying to argue that's why they did it. And I'm like, that's dumb. That's like saying that, you know, every director wants, every time they do something different, it's a different genre. You're supposed to just pay homage to another genre just because they're them. You know, it's yeah. just weird. It's just like, well, it doesn't make sense to do that. I mean, this is Joan Jett on a Vespa. Here's the thing. <laughs> if they're on this place, right, that, I think if they could have got away with it, if they looked beat and it looked like they had been, you know, through the sandstorms and it's Tatooine. Yeah. But instead, they're like, you know, pristine hot rod. Uh, yeah. I mean, Vespas. if this was Coruscant in the prequel era, maybe. But even the clothes, they're, they're wearing street clothes. Like, it doesn't even look Star Wars. The mm -mm. I mean, one guy looks yeah. like a steampunk reject. Yeah. What that, the hell? that guy looks like he's, a, he's like a. a cyberpunk reject or something yeah, i don't know what the hell is going on here like seriously what this is doctor who's jacket isn't it i don't know she's missing yeah it's just come on guys um but yeah a lot of people calling out that this did not look star wars at all power rangers is trending not for the reason you think yeah they look totally like the power rangers uh on their their uh motorcycles uh yeah it's lame so what are the reasons they're giving it is that all the reasons it's lame overall Overall, there's just a general sense of why does this show exist when we already have The Mandalorian? Because they're trying to cash in on Boba Fett because The Mandalorian was basically what Boba Fett was supposed to be. Many fans feel like The Mandalorian was already the Boba Fett show and they want, and uh, that they wanted to see him while the actual Boba Fett show feels like it's starring a new character entirely. Yes, yeah. he doesn't act like Boba Fett. He does not. You know, and that's just it. It's like people... It's once again, we have to take a legacy character and, you know, a, an actual, you know, character people love from the original trilogy and stuff and then find a way to... To pussify it and ruin it and everything else, you know. I, I can't. I mean, if you if you 
went back in time to the 1980s and you're like, in the future, there's going to be Star Wars on TV. We're going to have Star Wars TV shows. And Well, George Lucas tried to do that before. Yeah, he, he wanted did. to and then it didn't go through. Yeah. Um, Matt- but anyway, continue. Sorry. Anyway, so we're going to have a lot of Star Wars. Cool. And they're going to make a show all about Boba Fett. Oh, you my look, God. Oh, my God. Yes. That's awesome. Except... Except he has his helmet off most of the time. He talks too damn much. He doesn't act like Boba Fett. Eh. And they've got these colorful bite, and people be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah. What are you talking about? He got out of the Sarlacc pit, but just put him back in the pit. Just call it a day. I don't know. Um, they're not sure if this is going to be a one-off leading into Obi Wan and Ahsoka. I have to admit, I am now concerned because. This show should have been a slam dunk. He was a badass on The Mandalorian. Well, they kept him a badass, and they kept him his, like he was in The Mandalorian, and kept him like Boba Fett. They would be okay. Yeah. But they didn't. <laughs> That's the problem. And they don't seem to understand that. Yeah. I, well, you could basically leave it at that. Like, Disney fundamentally does not understand Star Wars. It's, it's you know, every once in a while we'll get a crumb of something approaching good, but... Don't hold your breath because you know the next thing that comes out is going to be a disaster. I, I, I've i lost... Well, supposedly Han's going to be in it at the end, so... F- if not this, it's going to be The Mandalorian, so it's one of the two shows. <sighs> Most likely this one. Yeah, I... They're hoping that saves it. Yeah. But even Mandalorian Season 2, you know, it, was, it wasn't too bad on its own before they put Luke in it, you know? Mm. It's just a waste. It's a waste of... If they do put Harrison Ford in at DH, it's a waste of Harrison Ford... Yeah, it is. It's it's a waste. I mean, basically, Disney Star Wars is a waste. I just get the feeling now they're they're telling stories that don't need to be told just to shit stuff out so they have content for Disney Plus. And this looks a lot more budget cut than The Mandalorian for sure. And I, I really I had a lot of hope for Obi Wan especially, and now I I don't. I was really looking forward to that too. Yeah. I'm hoping I'm hoping that that's like a different beast because it's a different director. I don't know, guys. So that's what's going on. Mainstream media calling it out. It looks pretty, pretty bad. Reception's not good. Of all the things to fuck, how do you fuck up Boba Fett? Well, his balls got dissolved. His, his balls so. got dissolved. That's that's the only explanation. So we're going to wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.